I'd like to welcome everyone gathered here in the New Horizons cinema, also those people who are watching online. Three years ago when we started the Code Dive, the idea was to make Wrocław being proud of having the best programmers, giving the platform for having the discussion about the technology. Over these three years, uh, Code Dive has grown to be perhaps the most prestigious conference of this sort in this part of the world. When people create what we might consider to be poor code, they don't do so randomly and they don't do so um, uh, maliciously evil. Good code is code that's correct, uh, code that has meaning, it's efficient and it's reusable. The fact that Nokia has been able to invite 1,500 people and tickets were gone within hours, I think it speaks for itself. Big auditoriums with just an amazing number of people in them. All of them seem really engaged and really interested in the content. I love seeing this many people all come together for a technical conference like this. This is on par with almost the CppCon level. There's almost as many people as one of the first, first CppCon that I've been to. This conference is a bit different than the others because others are very thematic, you know, like CPP Cologne is hardcore CPP style. To me, of course, I'm more a telecommunications expert. I'm not so much into software development. So I've been into some sessions. It's a bit rocket science to me. And here you get different things. If you have very wide horizon of your interest, you will always find something for you. I also think it's very good that it's uh, free because I think it can be a barrier to entry for a lot of younger nerds. The organization by the volunteers, by Nokia, you guys done a tremendous job. It is driven by a quite small number of people who are uh, willing to do a great conference. It's very important to have cross-pollination with uh, experts or just other people in the field. You can actually meet a lot of famous people here in Wrocław, which is completely new and unspotted until the first uh, code dive emerged. One thing I'm hoping is that people can listen to the talk, they can think about it, they can go online and do research and come back with detailed, really deep questions. You know, I remember Wrocław from the 1980s. Now, when I see all those people, those IT experts, that they can relate to the talks, they can ask relevant questions, it is inspiring, if not elating. I've been really enjoying uh, exploring the city. I've never been to Poland before, so I, I've had a great time kind of trying the food and, and talking with people. Would I like to do what? Um, what, sorry? Would, would I like to pronounce? <laughs> Yeah, um, all right. It's Wroclaw. Wroclaw? Wroclaw. 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 Wroclaw is not very well known internationally, but it's a fantastic IT hub. People say it's the Silicon Valley of Poland. I think that it's a very good step on the part of Nokia to show people that uh, um, Wroclaw is a very nice city. I know I'm butchering the name still, but uh, at least you have a conference that already knows where you are, right? <laughs> <laughs>